First, just a short video explaining how to set up a DDC 420 controller, which is straight from the factory. Um, when the controller is first powered up, it goes through an initialization sequence, and then you're presented with a, a wizard uh, which guides you through all the necessary settings to get the controller online. The first one being the language, which I'm going to choose to set it up for default English. Uh, which will then uh, leave me ready to make a download of the configuration program. So I'm going to choose the English menu and then set the time zone to be Europe London. I press the set key to enter the key. If I make a mistake I can just press the escape key and move back. Uh, next me is asking for the date which is today is the time. And the IP address, this is the default IP address, 192.168.001.99. You literally just press the set key or the wheel on each of the buttons to set and proceed to the next stage. Subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And the default gateway, 192.168.001.01. That's the IP configured and you apply that with set or I can press escape and go back. Central unit address default number is 99. We need BackNet to be active in order to make a, a download from PS4000, so we select active. BackNet device ID on the latest firmware for system release H defaults to zero. We must set that to be 99. On earlier releases of the controller, it would default itself to 99. So I'm just gonna set this one to be 99. That's by turning the set key to change the address number. Set that to 99 and press the set button. Backnet ID is 40, that's default. MSTPQ, MSTP communication. Um, the controller now supports up to eight slave devices, sorry, seven slave devices, eight, eight devices total on the network, where we can make, it, make use of our um, backnet slave devices, such as the CDR backnet. MSTP, CO2 sensors, humidity sensors or IO options. Um, I don't need that as default but um, if I did need it I could just turn the wheel, slit it on. I'm going to leave this deconfigured at this moment for this particular project. CAN bus, um, because on my communication system I've got a field bus module which is the FPU410, um, I'm going to uh, set my uh, CAN bus to be on and then I can continue the configuration with the set key and that's it complete. The control is now ready and you'll see that the um, CAN bus is now active and the error light is removed um, subject to the FBU module being configured by removing the white cover underneath the clear cover and setting the bus address. That will be covered in another video. But that's it now. Uh, I'm in a position where I can continue to program the controller. Thank you.